Michael Tiny Saul. It is Tuesday, June seventh, at seven twenty-five p.m. This is Forex Trading Analysis for Wednesday, June eighth, two thousand and eleven. Just going to look at a couple of things here: the Aussie versus the Canadian dollar. This was stopped out on the remaining plus fifty-one ticks, so we got a hundred ticks on the first half and fifty-one ticks on the second half. It averages out at seventy-five and a half ticks. All right, and currently um, one tick is worth $10.26. The euro versus the dollar, we adjusted our stops to only risk 50 ticks, and that was a good adjustment because if we didn't, we would have got the full 100 tick stop out. So this was a 50 tick loss. So net net, we were ahead about 25 ticks, and uh, those those 75 ticks on the Aussie CAD are worth a little bit more. They're worth a quarter more a tick than the euro dollar uh, tick which is only worth ten dollars so I mean it's it's a net net of 25 ticks that's fine but this is how when you're trading the exotics and you're trading the crosses uh, sometimes it could benefit you sometimes they'll be worth less than another position so you have to always know what a pip is worth most of the trading platforms have a calculator uh, built in alright so the one pair I want to look at tonight is the Aussie versus the dollar okay this has a range here, and this isn't the greatest range as far as lines are concerned. It's a good range, but it's not like, oh, these lines are so perfect, right? I mean, you only got one test of it down here. You got one test of it up here. Then it kind of broke through. So, I mean, but uh, I'm, I'm doing the best I can with what I have to work with. You know, that's the way I look at it. I mean, uh, I can do a couple trend lines like this, possibly... And then you would see you have a breakout, right? You have a breakout there already. But, you know, with what what I have to work with here as far as the data is concerned, and I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that this is the way it, uh, it came out, um, this looks like the best pattern to me. Now, right now, we're in a consolidation, you have a nice coil, we're above the 20 EMA, but I want to see, once again, what this bar does, right? And I say once again because... It's like I'm always waiting for that next bar, but you can see here we have two bars in the consolidation after this spinning top candle. So if this candle on Wednesday can stick within this spinning top, we could have an actionable pattern for Thursday. All right, so that's it. No new triggers, and we're going to be stalking this Aussie dollar trade. Talk to everybody again tomorrow. Have a great trading day on Wednesday.